I'm pretty sure you're making progress. You're just being maybe a little bit too hard on yourself, okay? But um, let's just get into it. Hey, my loves, and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Deborah Bombs, and you're welcome to the channel. So in this video, I basically want to share with you guys um, some of the five signs to look out for just to know that you are making progress in your life in your journey and whatever journey you're taking business life improvement career school whatever it is this applies to your whole life so it's very easy it's very very easy to kind of feel like we are not doing enough and um it's just i feel like it's just human because the way the brain is wired it always it's always ready to solve problems. It's always ready to give solutions and that's just the way we are made up. And most times we just want to go, 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 get this, get this done, move on to the next task, get this problem solved, move on to the next. And that's just how the brain is wired. But then there are some signs, there are some things to look out for just to let you know that, okay, I'm actually making progress and I should be proud of myself. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today and I hope this video is helpful. So I know that sometimes or most times um, the ways to you know track and monitor and measure your progress is by you know measuring it according to time frame or according to the goals and accomplishments that you've made but um, most times in reality progress is actually how aligned are you to the things that you need and the things that you want to do to get to that goal how aligned are you to getting there it's just not the destination it's not just about measuring your goals it's not just about measuring your achievements it's not just about you know the timing progress is just you know how aligned are you to these goals basically so yeah um, one sign that you are actually making progress is being able to identify that there's a problem somewhere or being able to identify it wrong even though you don't know how to correct that wrong even though you don't know how to write it you are first of all aware that okay there is change to be made you know that you're on this path and if this is not working then i know that there is something that needs to be done for me to move on to the next path so being able to identify that just alone by just doing that it shows that you care about this worry is worry is a is an emotion that signifies care if you think about it you worry about your loved ones why because you care about them you worry about your job because you care about what that job is offering you you care about the benefits of the job worry is a pointer to something that you care about I don't know if that makes sense I hope it makes sense okay so if something is going wrong and you know that this is going wrong and you're trying so hard you are making efforts you're worried about that thing because you want to write it like you want to make it right you want to correct that thing that in itself is making progress because you worry about that thing and worry is an indication of care think about it and most times um change usually comes from a place of discontent if you think about people that you admire that have made it or people that you admire that have overcome like big challenges in their lives um, change really comes from a place of discontent you see youtubers talk about how they changed their life in six months why because they were not contented they knew that there was something wrong they knew that they needed more they wanted more and um, so change usually comes from a place of, of discomfort it comes from a place of discontent and it's not something that you should just block off once you find that you are you have identified what is wrong it shows that you want to make progress it shows that you want change you want something better for yourself and that is progress in itself okay the next um, sign that you're actually making progress in life is the fact that you now identify that life is not a sprint it's a marathon so basically there is no finish line <laughs> there is no finish line to your goals there is no finish line to how much you can accomplish you're just gonna keep going think about it primary school you were worried about how to pass and get into GSS 1 right you were worried in GSS 1 how to write junior YX to get into GSS 2 or sorry <laughs> you're worried about rising junior YX get into senior like senior class and then from senior class you're worried about oh how to write you know um, exams to get into uni and then in uni if you're doing masters now like there's always something there is always something that you're gonna be striving to get and then even when you're done with school you're thinking oh your new job you want to hit new targets you want to hit new goals at your job you want to get promoted it's an endless cycle you just keep wanting more and wanting more and you just need to calm down at some point and understand that this life is one 
that's number one it is one and you sometimes you just need to slow down and live in the moment being able to identify that okay things are always going to be um coming up like new goals new opportunities new new wins are going to be coming up but right now what i need to do is just focus on what i have ahead of me right now and so being able to identify that being able to know that okay there's going to be more but right now what i have is what i'm going to start with right now what i have is what i'm going to focus on focus on that is you making progress you see a lot of people now understanding that okay this life is one and then they are really trying to be living their lives they really try to live and not just exist which is something that you should be doing you shouldn't just 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 come to this earth and exist you should be living the life that you actually want i don't think there's any point in life where all your problems will just disappear there's always going to be something to look forward to there's always going to be a goal that's going to keep you on your toes there's always going to be new opportunities for you you see a lot of people these days trying to live life better they try to live their life to the fullest they're trying to be free and just live life basically because this life is one and you need to understand this and if you're someone who has come to this realization it means that you're actually making progress in life you're now living a more peaceful life a life that is calm if that makes sense and um, that's that's progress in itself to be very honest so being able to understand that um, there's always gonna be something to worry about to be honest there's always 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 something to be worried about worried about but if you can just focus on the now that is what is going to keep you going you have to realize that instead of running fast with no vision instead of running fast and just running anyhow i don't know if you guys get the picture of just running because oh there's a race and you're just running no vision no plan no strategy no nothing that's not sustainable so instead you know that okay in the long term what is going to be beneficial to me in the long term what is going to be sustainable and um because you already understood that this life is just continuous if you've been able to come to this realization then you are making progress and you should you should tap yourself on the back and say well done okay i don't know where my voice went to there <laughs> but um yeah but anyways um we'll go on to the third point another sign of progress another sign that you're making progress is that you're actually doubting your next step so the next big step you want to take you're doubting if you're not scared it is not big enough it is not it is not big enough your goals something that i cut a while back from school your goals should scare you a little bit and excite you a lot so if you're scared of your next big step or your next step that is a sign that you're about to make huge progress because if it doesn't scare you then i mean you should have a little just a tiny bit of fear that oh what if this happens what if this doesn't happen but then always make sure that you are still thinking on the positive side because that's what makes a difference basically just like i said fear worry is a sign of care so if you are scared about your goal it means that you care about this goal this means a lot to you and that in itself could be the right step you need to take and i will always tell you guys do it afraid start with whatever you have do it whatever you have right now just go for it just go for it stop overthinking just go for it this is something i tell myself too all the time because sometimes i'm scared of you know putting out content but like put it anyway just put it even if it's a 1k view that come out it's something as opposed to zero views from posting nothing that's how i think now that step you're doubting is probably the next step you need to take that will turn that will be your biggest breakthrough if there's like a limiting belief or like this limiting thought that comes to your head or oh, what if this fails what if it goes right or what if i'm not able to what if i am actually able to do this and achieve this what what would my life look like imagine your life when you've achieved that goal and just focus on that and not focus on like the negative things basically one sign that you're making progress is that you are now more concerned about what you want and how you feel as opposed to what others feel about you or what they want you to do um recently i, I watched kamsi's video kamsi namani and just what, like hearing her story of how she took a bet on herself told her parents that they should just give her you know one one year and she's gonna um figure out if 
content creation is what she wants to do youtube is what she wants to do the fact that she knew what she wanted the fact that she knew that this is what i want this is what i want to go for i don't care what other people think if other people think that oh i'm jobless by doing youtube so be it but this is what i want this is what i feel is going to take me to the next level um that's just what i admire about her and basically that's what i'm telling you guys today you need to start focusing more on what you want and not what what the other person wants or what other people or what what other people are projecting onto you you're more concerned about how you see yourself how you see your dreams how you see your future once you can get to that realization then you're making progress because you know what you want and when you know what you want it's pretty easy to go from there because you know this is what you want again reference to Kamsi when you know what you want you know how to get there you know that okay I want to get 100,000 subscribers at maybe in the next one year what am I going to do to get there I'm going to post consistently plan my videos edit my videos set up a schedule you know all these things come as a result of knowing what you want so by the time you're able to identify that okay this is what I want this is how I want to feel and you go for it that's progress and i really hope that you can you know think about that um before you know letting yourself wallow in like self-doubt and pity and all of that just know what you want the fact that you're able to realize it is progress the fifth sign to know that you're actually making progress in life is that you're not just where you used to be you're just not the same Think about your life one year ago. You see a lot of TikTok, com TikTok compilations of um, you wish you knew me um, five years ago or I wish I met you earlier and then they show like their throwback. Of course, <laughs> five years ago, you were not the same person you are today. Three months ago, you're not the same person. And if you can really sit down, okay, that's 20 minutes. I'm supposed to be filming this video for, I set the timer to be done in 20 minutes, but this is the last point, so we're good. Um, but anyways you are not where you used to be if you're someone who is on the self-love journey think about how far you've come think about the habits that you've built think about how you're loving yourself better you are not just where you used to be if you can just sit down and count your blessings and count um the progress that you've made look at your life one year ago look at your life now as little as changing your eating habits it can be as little as doing morning stretches it can be as little as taking more fruits it can be as little as reading your bible more often you are just not where you used to be if you take your time if you take your time and really reflect on your life the past couple of months i'm pretty sure that you are making progress you're just not present enough to um catch it you're just not present enough to notice it you can just calm down sit down and look at your life and reflect you would see that you're doing so much better than you think okay so um yeah i really hope that this video was helpful to you and everybody who has watched this video right now and i hope that this video was really helpful if it was please give it a like comment down below what your favorite point or takeaway from this video was if you have more things to share in the comments a lot of things are usually shared in the comments so please share some of the tips you have as well in the comment section and i will see you guys in my next one if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one thank you my voice has gone again but thank you guys so much for watching and yeah bye <laughs>